Okay, so um, it's been a lot of hype lately about home gyms. People giving me a lot of beef about my home gym. Um, so I thought we'd give you a tour, tell you what we have in our home gym. Um, I have no idea off the top of my head what everything costs. So I will, um, when I edit the video back, I'm gonna just put the price of each thing uh, there. Uh, I was trying to rag my brain and be like, oh, what'd I pay for that? And I just don't remember. And I don't wanna lie. Uh, other thing is a lot of these things we got second hand um, so we paid nothing or a little bit for them and they're probably worth more but that was just Facebook or a lot of times like when gyms close or sell out like my friends will post uh, like they'll immediately send me a notification of a gym closing and I 100% of the time go over there because there's something I can uh, scrounge up for uh, the other thing I wanted to say was we bought our house five years ago. Uh, when we bought the house, I already had a rower. I had like bought a rower before I even bought my house and had been saving it. Uh, I've been saving my rower like at the gym and I had like been saving up equipment before I ever even bought my house. So this is like five and a half years of hoarding. I also am incredibly neurotic. Um, so we've redone our gym a million times. I'm going to try to attach old pictures because it's kind of funny now kind of like old lifting videos it's funny now um and that's it so i'll give you a heads up of everything we have in our gym I'll tell you how much it cost and okay we'll start with the garage we recently <laughs> it's kind of stupid but uh now that everybody's in quarantine i can't handstand walk to the gym so i painted 10 10 20 25 feet in my driveway so now every single time i have to do handstand walks i already know 25 feet uh, the other thing we have here at the front of the garage is I have a dolly and a trash can, which is kind of stupid. But the dolly is for the jerk locks. We move the jerk locks around often. And this is a convenient place for a trash can. And we have a little broom here because it gets shit here at the edge. And it grosses me out. These are my bikes. Vicky's bike, Vicky's road bike, my mountain bike, my road bike. I got into bikes within the past couple of years um i prefer biking over literally any other part long steady state cardio activity like walking running skiing rowing whatever i would rather bike we try to bike every weekend but anyways these bikes they're actually these are not fancy bikes this is vicky's bike she got on facebook i have no idea what she paid for it uh probably as little as you can this is my bike this is my mountain bike uh, it's a specialized rock upper thing. It was like 600 bucks. And this is a specialized dual say. Dual say. I paid about 1200 bucks for it. And I got the uh, little bike computer, which is awesome. Wahoo. And then I have the pedals with the clips and whole nine. This is kind of cool. We have a um, plexiglass behind the bikes and then this stringer here. I tried to install these like really cool bike hooks that could like fold but they weren't stable enough and they kept bending off the wall so this is actually these that we got at target were the most space efficient and stable bike hooks that we could buy um i used to have this other kind but they don't make them anymore anyways that's what we have um this is my sitting chair <laughs> this is a rope that i Took to a gym, took back from quarantine, got another rope, I need to take it back to the gym. This is plexiglass that I put up for handstand push-ups. Okay, plexiglass splinters very easily and also like grabs your sneakers. So I don't know if this is the best solution for anybody. I don't know if I would recommend it. It's also $30 a sheet, which is super expensive. I think it looks really good. But in terms of function and for the price, I'm not sure if it's the best solution. 
This we got off Amazon. I'll look and see what I paid for it. Probably not much. This is this random bookshelf that we had in another room. Now I use it for storage. It has my bike stuff. This is actually a 40 pound weight vest that I keep hidden in this backpack from when I was trying to get into the fire academy. This is a ton of knee sleeves. Uh, this is a go rec 10 pound plate that I put in my go rec. Um, extra belts, Vicky's stuff, extra shoes, water. These are our yard shoes, Theragun, extra sneakers. These coins are for uh, counting your reps. Right. Um, mop, mop. This is my gym bag from when we used to go to the gym. RIP gyms. Tomo Loredana. We have a TV. This TV uh, plays audio out of this boombox, which is super, super nice because it's loud. Um, Vicky figured out how to make that work. Blower cleans out the gym. Uh, we have this Zep spray. A lot of people ask what we use to clean the gym. If you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever, they have a Zep, Z-E-P. It is a concentrate. So it's like a antibacterial concentrate that you add with water and it's the best, right? So if you use bleach, bleach can mess up your clothes or maybe stain your stuff. Uh, and like other Clorox stuff. Anyways, the Zep, we even have the Zep sprayer, is it doesn't leave a film, so nothing's ever slippery. Uh, it's like odor free, disinfectant, it's the best. Zep, we use it in our house too. This we got recently from Lowe's, it was like $200. Uh, these remotes I just made, they have these mini magnets on them that I got from Amazon. Anyways, so I don't lose my remotes. This is uh, Real Tools, tools I don't want to put in the shed. So a lot of people ask, hey, where do you put your actual garage stuff? Uh, it's in, a, in the yard, actually. I built a little shed out back, and I have, like, shovels, rakes, normal stuff people usually put inside their house. It's in the shed in the back. Uh, but, but some of my tools are nice, and I don't want to put them outside. Maybe they'll get moldy, maybe they'll get rusty, and I don't know. So these are my fancy tools. I have, you know, power tools. I have this, like, Yeti, uh, what is this, like, a carry-out box thing? This is actually probably one of the most expensive things in my garage, but it was a gift. Another toolbox. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, things I don't want to go in the shed. Oh, and my... <laughs> my, my these are my basketballs. You know. Oh, rock climbing stuff. Uh, more tools. This, I don't know how much this toolbox was. We bought it at Sears before Sears ceased existing. Um, I think it was like 250 bucks. This kill the fridge I got from an old gym. Oil belt, uh, running shades. That JBL speaker I do want to mention, it's submergible, so it's completely waterproof, dustproof. But I got a good deal on that because Vicky works for JBL. Um, this is Theragun. I actually got this as a gift for Christmas. I think we got the trainer discount on it. It was probably like 300 bucks. Yeah, but these are awesome. Um, I got this Go Mat that I use for handstand push-ups. I probably should use it for stretching more, but I mostly use it for handstand push-ups. We've got these assorted foam rollers we've been coagulating over here. One, two, three, four foam rollers. Uh, we got a what? This is like a pull sled. I call them a, like, you know, the one, the sleds with the sticks are like a push sled. This is a pull sled, the straps, uh, change plates. Uh, the pull sled, we got from a closed gym. So, I think we paid like 50 bucks for it. 50 bucks? Yeah. Change plates we got from Plate Against Sports. Parallettes are from Rogue. We did pay full price for those. Sandbag we got from Closed Down Gym. I don't remember why I paid for it, maybe like 20 bucks. More foam rollers. Uh, dumbbells. Dumbbells. Okay, so I'm gonna be really honest about a couple of these dumbbells we stole from our old apartment complex. But dumbbells typically go for a dollar a pound. This one I got from Closed Down Gym for like $30. Um, the 35s. We got it at Walmart. 35, Vicky says we got it at Walmart. I don't know what she paid for them. She'll look it up. 
Uh, the 40 and the 50 we stole from our old apartment gym. Um, okay, so these are the Rogue. They're the Rogue Echo colored bumper plates. They're like your standard gym bumper plates, except they're the colored ones. Um, I have two of every single weight. So I have two 45, 35, 25, 15, 10. I don't have 55 pound plates. If I was going to invest in a kilo set, I'd get um, 25 kilo plates. But as of now, we have two full sets. Um, a couple of them, I have a pair of 25s and a pair of 15s that I got from a closing gym. They were maybe free, maybe 50 bucks for the four. But the rest of them I bought from Rogue and I paid the hundo pricing or the whatever discount pricing. I do have a set of games plates. Vicky and I went to the games in 2015 as spectators, not as athletes. And we bought the plates from them. Oh, you wanna see them? They're the 2015 games. Oh, that was in what was it, in California. Yep. Anyways, so those are competition bumpers. Obviously, everybody would love to have more competition bumpers, but they're expensive. Um, I have these, which I have for free. A guy gave me. They're 65 pounds, random. They these kettlebells were part of that donation, so these were all free. Uh, these are Oso clips. They're like 50 bucks. These are Oso clips too. They're pretty mediocre. And these are like the old road collars. I don't know what people pay for these, like 25 bucks? These are trash, don't buy them. Waste. <laughs> They're good for squats, maybe, maybe. But other than that, grabs. absolute garbage. Fuck it. Um, I also have two 35 pound kettlebells here. Um, I got from, they look old. So I probably bought them from a gym. I have this 53 pound kettlebell from Rogue. I bought that myself um, on Rogue.com. I think I just paid retail for it. Maybe Black Friday for free shipping. Vicky says, yeah. This I got from Mary. Mary let me use her 70 pound kettlebell. We actually did order a 70 pound kettlebell post uh, coronavirus from American Barbell. Uh, they had them in stock, but it hasn't shipped yet. So maybe it wasn't in stock. More foam rollers. These are med balls. I got this from Dynamax. I think it was like a July 4th or a Black Friday. They had all their med balls half off. Um, I think they do that periodically. So if they do half off in their med balls, snag you one. So I have 120 and I have 114. The Rogue med ball I got when I got all my other Rogue stuff. So I got married in 2015. And when we got married, we re we actually did our wedding registry on rogue.com. I feel like this is a big caveat to this whole thing. So when I got married in 2015, I did not register at Bed Bath & Beyond like other girls. I decided to register at Rogue. So we got tons and tons and tons of Rogue gift cards, which I bought most, the big stuff here. I bought my rig, I bought a barbell, I bought plates, I bought a med ball, I bought a kettlebell. I bought a ton of stuff. The rest of it I've pieced together over the years. Anyways, so this was part of that set. I don't know what these cost, but I paid retail for it, whatever it was. These, I have a couple ab mats I got from a closing gym. I think we paid maybe like five or ten bucks for them. Yeah, it was like nothing. Was... Um, this actual storage holder I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. I think it's the Ethos brand. Um, I think I paid like a hundred dollars for it. It was nothing. Um, I saw like an inst one of those, like it was like a garage gym reviews or as many reviews as possible posted like a link. It was like, hey, this thing from Dix is a steal. So you should get it. And I was like, absolutely. I don't remember what I had before. I think I had just like a plate tree and then this stuff was just on the floor. And so I snagged this. I love it. I honestly, I want to buy the big Rogue Monster Rack like Matt, Fraser, and like Celebrity Top, but they're expensive. So I don't. These are more pulling blocks. You put these with these. And it's like mini jerk blocks, right? I got these before Corona virus. I got these before the coronavirus so that I could do block work at the gym. Not my gym, obviously, but like at other, my friends' gyms. Um, and then coronavirus hit, but I already had these, so now I use them for... It's like, oh, they're, they're like 150 bucks, but they're basically just shelves. Um, I have a plyo box. 
Um, the this plyo box and these dirt blocks came from this guy in Fort Worth that makes wood stuff for sports, Legion Athletics. Uh, I'm gonna post a link because he is amazing. Blo jerk blocks and plyo boxes are very, very, very expensive to ship. So I bought these locally. Anybody who needs really heavy wood products should just buy them from somebody locally because no matter what, if you order them online, it's just gonna be astronomical. Uh, this is a, what is this? For like weighted belt stuff. I got it from a closing gym. It was really cheap. This is like what? Uh, crossover symmetry type stuff. Jerk blocks, same deal. I got these from a guy locally. Actually, when I traded somebody, I had a bigger set of these and a guy at a gym had this older, smaller set and I asked him if I could trade him my bigger, newer set for the smaller set because it would fit in my house better and he was like, you're stupid. And I was like, no, 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 this is good for both of us. <laughs> so anyways, I used to have a bigger set, now I have a smaller set. These are my barbells. Uh, this is a children's train bar. Uh, my nieces come over sometimes and use this bar. Um, I think I got it from a closed down gym. Same thing with this again, faster bar. This is my men's bar. This is a men's standard, again, faster bar. It's a 45 pound bar, I use it for squats. This is a power bar and it's like, I think literally I think it's a 55 pound bar. I don't know much else about it. I don't really know why I have it. I don't think I paid for it. It's, it's stupid, there's no point. Okay, these are women's bars. This is a women's Bella bar. It's your standard women's rogue CrossFit bar. I paid retail for this. Um, it's worth it. I think for like a overall CrossFit barbell, women's Bella bar is awesome. This is a Christian's Fitness Factory needle bearing bar, the Soli bar. Um, I bought this from a weightlifting coach. I don't know what he paid for it. I bought it for like 100 bucks off him. And he's a great guy. I'm glad he let me buy it. And then I saw this steel. Um, this is a rogue. Um, it's a rogue needle bearing Oli bar. Uh, with the Cerakote logo on it. I got the, this is actually, like a, I think it's a clear Cerakote. I only paid like 250 bucks for it, brand new, because it's a Boneyard bar. It has some discoloration here, which is why they Boneyarded it. But this is the same as like the Women's Puros bar that they have at national level competitions. So I love training with this bar, no regrets. I stole it from Rogue, basically, getting it for 250 bucks. All right, this is our rig. This is the W4. Uh, somebody asked me about it recently, so I looked it up, so I'm confident. It's a W4. It is the infinity rig. So it's a W4 infinity rig. Basically, these are the infinity uprights. Rogue doesn't make infinity uprights anymore. Infinity uprights just means that it's a two by three. Um, all they make now is the monster and a monster light, which is a three by three with the one inch spacing. They don't make the infinity rig anymore. I was trying to buy some attachments. They don't make it, just whatever. I don't, really, I don't have any problem with it. So I have the, it's a four foot cross member. Uh, this is a standard powder coated pull up bar, but now it's taped because the rogue standard pull up bars are slippery as shit. So it has tape on it. I don't do pull ups over there cause I'm child size, but for my friends that do, it's taped. I have a pair of rings. Um, I have another upright. That's actually like a axle bar. With, I think it's like a what? Like a two inch bar? Mm -hmm. So like these are like a 1.25 and that's the two inch. So I think it's actually really cool to do like grip work over there. Challenge yourself. I've done it probably twice if we're being honest. But it's cool that's there. Um, and then I have a wall ball target mounted to this upright. The, um, when I used to have the rig go to six feet, so I used to have it out to like here, the, I could have a nine and a 10 foot wall ball target, but now that we moved it back, it only goes the top, I think it's actually the top bolt is nine foot. So if you hit anywhere on that top circle, it's above nine feet. So those are all good reps. Uh, this, so this rig, I think if you buy it 
factory. I'm gonna look all this up. But I think if you buy it standard, it's like seven hundred dollars. But I ordered separately that single bar and this single bar because it comes with the it it came with six foot cross members that are like the two pull up bars, um, and I wanted to take it to four feet, right? So it came with six foot cross members and then this axle bar bullshit in the front. But I ordered this and this. So I think they're like 85 bucks each. Took it to, again, I'm gonna look all this up. I'll add it. Um, but I did wanna notate that we found out something really cool recently when we were setting all this back up because everybody wants a spiel bar, right? Everybody wants a spiel bar. I always train on a spiel bar. Rogues, powder coated bars, are super, super slippery. So we actually reached out to Rogue and we were like, hey Rogue, do you have a four foot spiel bar? And they said, no, but we can make you one and it's the same price. So order the rig, order the bar that you want and then let us know that you don't want it powder coated and we just want powder coated. And I was like, really? And they were like, yeah. And so I ordered this uncoated uh, four foot, 1.25 inch spew bar. Super cool. Go rogue. Uh, paid retail for all that. Drop. You know, sometimes you get chalk and it's super crappy and sometimes you get chalk and it's super awesome. I don't really have a recommendation on chalk right now. Rogue chalk's usually fine. Um, okay, so this was the rower that started our home gym. We pay, we got this up for a, on a deal. It was used in a competition, so we bought it. It was like 700 bucks, I think. Sounds right. Yeah, I think we got it. Well, I know for a fact we got it because it was used in a competition. So we got it used for 700 bucks. I have no idea how many meters it has on it. We got this here. We paid retail for this, but it was sort of the switcheroo when we had an old assault bike. Once your assault bike turns five, a uh, assault bike will refresh it for you for 500 bucks. So I bought a second assault bike for $500, sold my original assault bike, and then got the skier, right? So it was like this whole, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just trying to save some money. I don't really know what I did. Now that I'm saying it a lot. <laughs> um, I have, so re I paid retail for this. I recently got this foot for it. It was mounted in there. Um, that wasn't smart, so we bought the base. Also, I have this fringe clock. I got that fringe clock for free. I'll tell you how. I hope fringe isn't watching this video. I ordered a clock off Amazon, paid money for it, and I they ended up uh, sending me one from Amazon, sending me one from fringe. I was really confused about it, um, so I kept one. So I paid for one for a gym and then they they paid for it and then I got a second one for free and took the second one home. It's probably bad character, but it's free clock. This enormous ass whiteboard uh, is from Vicky's work. They had some sort of garage sale there and they let us buy it for, Vicky says $20. I don't remember, but isn't it huge? I love it. And I have this basketball bowl. That's what the mini basketballs are for. Um, I got that on Amazon for like thirty dollars. Um, this is my assault bike. This is the this is my refresh assault bike. I had an older assault bike that I sold and bought the ski yard with that money. And but this is my new assault bike. So far, so good. I don't know if assault bike is the best bike manufacturer. If I did like redo it, I'd probably get Echo Bike. I don't know. I mean, I like a soul bike because they're used in every competition, but the thing that's crappy about a soul bike is they do break. People are like, oh, my soul bike never breaks. It does break. We literally own specialty tools because we've fixed so many soul bikes. Not ours, Jim's. Uh, those are my jump ropes. We have every jump rope that Arc Smart Gear has ever made. Shout out to Arc Smart Gear. We have Evo ropes. <laughs> we have Eater, e Evo ropes. Regular buff cables, I have a Poseidon rope, I have a Zeus rope, I have a Hades rope, and I have a drag rope. I literally have every single Arc Smart Gear rope. I'm very, very, very bad at jump rope. So always if you buy a new rope, it helps you get better, right? Uh, I can put the link or put a tag and say how much those were. Probably too much. It didn't really make me better at jump rope. I also have mobility bands over there. 
The ones that are not Rogue branded have snapped. The ones that are Rogue branded have not snapped. <sighs> Probably worth buying Rogue mobility bands. Uh, this is a gymnastics mat. We paid retail for it. It's like $650. It's stupid. We bought it because it's... It was that much? Yeah. Dang. Six fifty. I think, at least. Maybe six hundred. dollars We'll find out. Yeah, I'll look it up. <laughs> but um, all these competitions have them now, and I'm not great at handstand walks, and I, I was kind of like freaking out for a little while. It was not the regionals that had the ramp. It was then they had it again at Wadapalooza. And I was like, I'm so bad at handstand ramps, or handstand walks. If I qualify for an event and I show up and there's a ramp, I'm screwed. So I bought one, we've used it probably five times. Um, but that's probably on me. I have vests. These are both 511 vests, They're both 511 branded vests. One is 14, one is 20 pounds. Um, I was trying to get into the Fire Academy for a, a couple of years. Um, and so I acquired, you have to do this test with 75 pounds of weight. So I bought 35 plus 40, 75 pounds of weight, and I would go to LA Fitness and do the Stairmaster there. Um, I did pass the test, so it worked. Worth it. But now I have a 14 and a 20. Um, usually if we work out, I work out Vicky, and she uh, wears a 14, I wear the 20. Um, and then I bought, they're, oh yeah, these are expensive too. They're like 200 bucks a piece. We have um, the Rogue plates in them. A lot of, there's a lot of debate now about what plates to get in the vest. I have Rogue plates. The like colored ones. Anyway, um, this is Salt Runner. It's like, oh, we got the affiliate deal. Uh, it's like $3,500. So I mean, I don't, I've never seen them cheaper than that. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. Um, it's, up, it's up to you. I don't really, for $3,500, you could literally start your whole home gym right for $3,500 you could put in a platform get a bar get a plate set get a rower probably get a freaking bike too I mean like I don't know if $3,500 is worth it unless you already have everything else I, again I got it because tons and tons of competitions were using it I'm not a great runner I did not want the first time I used one to be at a competition because I knew I wouldn't do well so I bought one that <laughs> Emotional anxiety was worth the money to me. But if you don't plan on competing, it's probably not worth it. Unless you're training for like a marathon or something and you just want to change pace. Uh, this is a barn fan. You know, actually I saw these at Home Depot recently. I think they're more than I, they're more than I think they are. I think they're like $150. Yeah, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. Uh, but we live in Texas, it gets hot AF, it is necessary. Um, that's a sauna, like an indoor sauna. Never used it. Um, we will show you our ceiling and talk about our flooring, and then I think that's it. So um, we had the ceiling removed from the garage. We bought the house. It had drywall, but what actually ended up happening was we lived here probably a year or two, and I had a pipe leak above the garage. Um, I, I was super lucky that it wasn't inside the house. The pipe broke uh, out uh, over the garage, and it was like a, you know, the outside spigot froze up, popped the pipe, soaked the drywall, soaked the insulation, whole garage fell through. Um, we had a contractor come out, and he gave me a quote to, because um, home, our homeowner's insurance was going to pay for it. And I was like, hey, um, instead of fixing it, can you take it out? He's like, take it out. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Just remove everything. And um, so he did it. I had it done professionally um, by this guy. Um, yeah. So he, he removed every single nail, uh, nail by nail, and they did a great job. And I'm glad that we did it because before it was really ugly. Um, so I installed these shop lights myself. They're, this one's LED. That one is incandescent is the word but this one's led that one's standard bulb but these are shop lights 
Um, I installed myself to add more light. Um, I'm glad that I did. They are not hardwired. Uh, the shop lights are via standard plug, standard outlet plug, and they run to this outlet over here that we have set up with a remote control. Shop lights are not expensive. They're cheap. And, and always worth it because you get light. Um, we, I, I originally, once we had the, the ceiling taken out, I didn't have any attic space. And I just didn't put anything up there. I was like, oh, I'm cool. I don't need it. We just, we won't have an attic. Um, and then over time, that wasn't a smart idea. Uh, we ended up needing attic space for mostly camping stuff. We camp periodically. So mostly camping stuff is up there and a little bit of home improvement stuff. Um, so we put everything in buckets and I installed this like thermal, it's basically plywood with like a thermal cover to help try to regulate the temperature a little bit. Uh, yeah, but that's why this is kind of ratchet over here. It's like a makeshift attic. People ask a lot of times about AC and heat, whether or not this space wastes air conditioning or heat. No, it doesn't. Uh, we have a furnace. Our furnace is not in the attic. Our furnace is actually in and above our guest bathroom. And so none of the, I'm sure that heat and AC get wasted through vents and whatever, but our main unit is not pumping air into here so it doesn't really get wasted um also we have this ring hanger here uh this is a standard rogue ring hanger um i paid whatever the rogue price is for it um and i have it's like a six foot rope and then a 12 foot rope so i originally had the six foot rope um and i wanted to try to do like you know the legless rope climbs with like where your feet aren't touching? I thought, oh, that'd be so great for my garage. But really it ends up being like one or two poles. It's kind of random. I got the 12 foot rope. Yeah, the, the rafters are still pretty narrow. It's not an ideal situation, but I haven't gotten hurt. And then uh, I have these regular rogue rings, with the rogue. So the rogue rings with rogue competition straps. I paid retail for those. Um, the rings are kind of fat. I'm a little whiny about that. I did have the rings mounted through the actual brackets on the rogue ring hanger. I recently took them off and scooted them in a little bit because it was causing some shoulder discomfort. Like at the gym, you can kind of like adjust the rings. And I understand that in competition, there's like a standard width, blah, 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 blah. But again, I was like really concerned about my shoulder. So I scooted them in. Um, and then we have some electrical, these like some random gold boards that support the electrical that's coming from the house. Um, I'm not an electrician. Seems like it might be, not be the best idea, but we haven't had any issues. Um, we do have a camera installed, so if you try to steal my stuff, I'll know it was you. Um, we have a remote controlled garage door opener. And I think that's it. Oh, these are standard tractor supply stall mats. A lot of people ask about flooring. What kind of flooring do you have? We got these at Tractor Supply. I don't know outside of Texas if Tractor Supply is a thing. It's very popular here. Um, but yeah, these are standard uh, four by six stall mats. They're three quarter inch. They, when I started my home gym like five years ago, they were 30, $35 a piece. But now these suckers are 50 bucks a piece. Inflation. Um, I can't think of what else we have in here. I think that's it. This platform we finished today. I didn't want to make the video before we finished this because we had a foundation cracked. We got it fixed. Put in this new platform. And I think that's it. Nope. So I will, I will look everything up as I edit the video and make sure that I add um, prices to the video because I know a lot of people care about that. Thanks.